Hey, 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 people, welcome to the Colors of Magic and welcome to this video on resources for beginners. I'm working on an assumption that you've been playing for a couple of weeks, perhaps a couple of months, and you're looking to take your game to the next level. So, what can you use to do this? Web based resources, another video, I look at apps and so forth, but this is specifically web based resources. So, let's get straight into it. Read Duke's Level 1, the full course. Reed is Magic Royalty. He won the online championship in 2011. He's won Grand Prix and has been a great contributor over decades, two decades or so, to the game. And here he shares a wealth of experience in this course with a variety of topics that you really need to know to take your game to the next level. They all are really well illustrated. For example, here, lineup theory, where he talks about different decks that you can use, the illustrations of different cards, hand versus hand. It's incredibly comprehensive. And at the end here, this final entry, becoming a better player. And he talks about things like shooting yourself in the foot, figuratively speaking, of course. This here, um, you can really study and work and so on. And then the night before a Grand Prix, you go out and you party and you just mess up. Um, it's not lecturing, um, at least not my perception. But if you want to take it serious, you have to have a serious attitude. So this is the first site I recommend, and I'm going to have all of them down in this below here. I'm going to have a link to all of them. And from there, the next one I want to discuss are two sites together, actually. One is Channel Fireball, and the other is Star City Games. I give the edge to Channel Fireball over Star City Games, because Star City Games has some of its content locked behind a paywall. Nonetheless, they are both great sites, and just let's see what they have to offer. Here is Channel Fireball, and you can see here, you know, and the thing with both of these sites is they have wonderful contributors. Mark Sigrist, Ben Stark up there again. You see Reed Duke, who I mentioned a minute ago. But drill down further, there's some stuff here that is not visible immediately come now on and you get these sections such as pack one pick one and the idea here is that it helps you with drafting you get shown a, a bunch of cards and you can look at them make a decision on what you would like and you may decide that, wow, you want Rose main Corsa. And what would Paul Vito Del Rosa picked here? You can go there and you'll see his first choice was Blood Operative. His second choice was Conclave Tribunal. And what adds to this as well is the discussion down here below as well that really contributes to a deep understanding of the game. And this is what this video really is all about, getting to know the game better and how to control different things. Channel Fireball, by the way, is the company that runs the Grand Prix that happen in the magic world. Star City Games, here you'll see subscribe now. And that is the only reason I give Channel Fireball the edge. Again, great contributors. Emma Handy, Ryan Sachs, Ben Friedman. Star City Games also has a, plays a huge role in Magic with their SCG Tour. Events all over the states and 
absolutely ubiquitous. What is nice about it is you can click on their deck lists and you can see what deck lists um, have, are there. So the, there's one in Dallas was run by this Golgari mid-range deck. And I look at it and think, I don't. I've got, I've got three Assassin's Trophies. I don't have any Doom Whisperers. I've got a Vivian Reed. I have one Grasco Relic Seeker. But how can I take it further? But that is one of the great facilities here. And we're going to be looking at other places in a short while that just deal with deck lists and of your own and other people's. So Channel Fireball, Star City Games, both incredible websites with lots of details to take you through. You're talking about cards like Doom, Whisper, and Assassin's Trophy. The next site is Scryfall. It's a, it's a card database. Not unlike Gatherer, except I think far more powerful. If you've got your basic search that you can do here, um, for example, go Gift of Paradise, let's say. And there you have it, and you have links to various sites such as Dexas, which we'll be looking at, and MTG.8, which we'll be looking at. Purchase links there. The legalities there. But the real value of Scryfall comes in in its advanced mode. I'm going to leave you to explore this for yourself, but just to give an example, let's say you are playing Surak Dragonclaw as a commander, and you want card, you want to play hexproof cards here. So hex proof. And specifically you're looking for let's say rares and mythic rares in those commander colors. Let's hit enter. And there you have 34 mythics and mythic rares that you can play with Surak Dragon Claw. And are hexproof. Angler Turtle, Carnage Tyrant. I love and hate Carnage Tyrant, depending on which side that I'm playing on. So there we are. That is Scryfall. And just at a, at a simpler level on the advanced, just, just let me show you this quickly. Um, what I'm going to do here is legal and standard, and let's say you are a red player. You've got a choice here, exactly these colors, including these colors, so you'll get the multicolors as well. Enter. And there are the 261 cards that are legal and standard that are red or include red. So you're looking to build up a deck. You've got all that information right there, and that just eases your task so much. But what about decks now? Let's move on to looking at decks. And here, I'm just going to click on that. You'll see they mention search MTG top 8 for this card. MTG top 8 is a site that lists decks from recent events at, you'll see levels like this, um, the SEG Modern Open, Standard PTQs. Up here you've got Vintage Legacy, Standard, so let's wait for the meta to unfold in Standard now, so let's see. Golgari Agro has 23% of the meta. Let's have a look. Let's drill down a bit further, and you'll see there Golgari Explore, Golgari Midrange. This was in the winner box, so let's see. This is what you had, Unite Reaper, Carnage Tyrant, Find Finality of Rascal's Contempt. And once again, click here, 
and the card will be shown down below. Press this contempt shown down below. What is also really powerful with this is the ability to do a search. So let's say you want to standard and you're looking for decks that include Golgari. And there you'll see this is in the last mm, couple of mm, there Golgari mid range dates there. So while this is oh, I selected modern, my apologies. Standard, just let's try that again. That's more like it. You can see cars that feature where the decks called Golgari something. But also, what is lovely here is you can look for decks that say include Goblin Chain Whirler and Gutter Snipe. Again, I'm just keeping it at standard. No decks that well okay. Let's just look for goblin chain whirler. Search. There we are, goblin chain whirler. Mono red flame of Kel. Mono red mid range. Anything which includes gutter snap. Incredible that it doesn't seem to deck that includes both. Okay, I didn't include sideboard. Let's grant that. Okay, so gutter snap you can see straight off actually isn't very popular. If we take a look at the sideboard, if we in the sideboard, do we have more decks for it? We have a few more decks for it, yes. And again, we can go and look at the decks. MTGO Competitive Standard League. Go to Snipe in there. Okay, this, when I look at that, is out of date. Because it's included cars that have gone under rotation. But that gives you an idea of, okay, and you go there when there's been a Grand Prix, you can look at what, Various people play for Vita Damorosa, Reed Duke, Huey Jensen, and all of these great players. And you start your deck building there, trying to accommodate what you don't have that's in their deck, see what you can substitute, perhaps go online, buy some singles. But the one thing with buying singles and getting booster packs from draft or whatever is that. If you've been playing Magic for more than a couple of months, and I'm sure you know this already, your, your cards expand at a, a, an alarming rate. They just increase so quickly. It becomes overwhelming. And this is where deck stats can help. Deck stats, this site which allows you to create your own decks and share them. Other people similarly can share their decks. But also, it allows you to input your collection. And it does this very, very simply. I'm going to click on Manage Collection. Let's, I'm not sure I've got it in here yet. I'm busy redoing it. Radiant. Destiny. And I'm going to add a couple there. And there you see there's the Raiden Destiny. I can set off foils. No. So on save collection. Go back. 
to my collection there. There's costing. The ability to sort by price or whatever you would like to sort by. By colors, by type, card name. Then you have your deck builder. You have an option, it's limited to only cards from your collection, you see there, or direct card entry. So let's go bold duck, keeper of the flame, add, and I'm just going to up that to four, or you can go via this and have champion of the flame and simply add it and then you can you can build on i'm not going to finish this but i'm just going to go back to deck building now leave My decks, not my decks. My saved decks. And just let's have a look at what it offers. So there we are. You can add your notes and so on. But details, and this is where it becomes very useful. There's your mana curve. Your, your card breakdown, land, uh, creatures, spells, and your couple of creatures in this deck, the mana distribution, the mana source distribution. Again, a deck cost, so this really is very much a budget deck. S uh, starting hand. So since you can play test it a little bit, I'm going to mulligan on that. Add another card. Probabilities. So you can test various things. If I have Two mentor room, two flame lash, calculate, and that gives the idea of the chances you have for draws. So there we are. With the MTG top eight, you can go and you can look at the, the current meta, what people are playing. Yeah, with deck stats, you can store your own collection. And you can create your own decks, share them, and see what other people are working with. The final site I want to look at before I get onto YouTube is one called Judge Candidate's Textbook. Now, I'm just working on the assumption that you actually don't want to be a judge. But this helps you, again, take your game to the next level. There are intricacies once you've played the game that you really need to know. So come to this site, Judge Candidate's Textbook, and all you want to do here is just download that full version. Once you've downloaded it, this is the document you'll get. You know, there's these little intricacies with things like the stack, and um, this really just helps you understand. If you want to be a judge, great, but 
this helps you understand the intricacies far better. And again, you can see great, great illustrations. There is a non-illustrated version if you, your bandwidth screwed, but I would still recommend this one. And the expanded the first ability. It's an incredibly useful resource for anyone, even if you don't want to be a judge. So that is the last of the non YouTube sites. But let's go back now. And I do want to say a couple of things about YouTube. There, I'm only showing you four channels. There are a great many worthy channels out there. I'm trying to show a bit of variety. Um, it's not to disrespect those I haven't mentioned. They're just too many to mention. But I also need to mention as well that there are some awful channels out there. I want to got in terms of the product, but in terms of attitude, they disrespect so many people. They see more intent on doing harm than good. So from my perspective, just be wary about the channels you look at. Often what you look at is your choice, but for me, I, I don't like people who cause division, who are divisive. So that is just, from our perspective, a, a little warning to you. First, and when you get onto YouTube and you start looking up um, MTG, this is, might be one of the first things you come across, Hilary Community College. The professor is in session. He got 386k subscribers, as you can see over there. And that is actually more than the official Magic the Gathering channel, which I think is about 364,000. A great deal of these is Tutor Series is great. Mulligans, Man Curve, Deck Archetypes. He does so much for the game. <clears throat> There's commander stuff. And he has this really wonderful way of presenting things. Let's suppose that you're writing a really important email to a colleague. Hasbro Toy Store, more like the Has No Toy Store. Come on! Oh, hello. You know, the future is digital, and so offering the absolute best program software for any company, let alone Hasbro and Wizards of the Coast, is key. So there is the professor. Uh, he's one of the towering figures in the game and perhaps the preeminent figure on YouTube. I love his stuff, have a great deal of respect for him, and I've learned so much from him. The next channel is Good Luck High Five, and it used to be called Magic the Amateuring. So if you go into a video and you see Magic the Amateuring, well, that is simply because that's of the name change. This is run by two rather loopy women who are a great deal of fun and very good players. The one Megan has um, certainly reached her PPTQs. I think she qualified for a pro tour. So there are no slouches when it comes to the game. 
but they are bubbly, they are fun. Just let's have a look at this. Good luck, High Five, here to bring you five things we love about Arena and five things we hope get changed. <laughs> kick things off on a positive note thing number one that we love about arena is that it looks awesome oh it looks so good all of the animations when like really powerful cards hit the board i love them all of like the little dragons that breathe a bunch of fire or the angels that yes oh yeah with their big wing so that is the ladies of good luck high five a wonderful company for an hour or so if you wandering around YouTube. Next is the command zone. And these are the go-to guys for all things commander and EDH. They have this wonderful session, this game nights, where they play with well-known people, which may include actors, it may include um, NFL people. So yeah. Um, it, it really is a lot of fun. The one guy they had was Alan Tudyk, who was in Firefly. And it's something that they are really passionate about. Let's have a quick look at one of theirs. Or perhaps not. What's up, everybody? Oh, Welcome to a are. brand new episode of Game Nights. Thank you, as always, to Wizards of the Coast for sponsoring this content. Now, we have Sean Plot, better known as Day9, and Ashley Birch on this episode to play Two-Headed Giant with M19, the new core set. But before we get to that, we want to shout out our sponsor, cardkingdom.com slash command zone. If you use that affiliate link when you order any of your magic products, cards, singles, anything, you really will be supporting this show. Plus, we have a special offer going on. That's right. For the month of July only, a lot of you have been asking, how do we unlock the Game Nights logo in Lifelinker, our app? We've never given this away now. Primary role. What I'm really here to do is stop Jimmy and Ashley from advancing their game plan. It's kind of like having a tank and a support class in like an RPG or something. So Jimmy and I are going for the packs and finding some really cool cards in there. And we're trying to figure out what uh, decks we should build. One thing that stood out immediately is that we have some really powerful creatures in green and red. My favorite thing to do in Magic is to play big creatures that do a lot of damage. So I'm building mostly a red green deck with some little well, black sprinkled up. So there is the command zone. And the final one I'm looking to look at is the mana source. And I want to tell a story about mana source. It's not why I'm featuring mana source, by the way. But for me, it is just such a good story indicating the nature of the, the magic community. The, the, the guy who runs the, the channel, Wedge, suffered a major, major back injury a few months ago, didn't have Medicaid and had a huge medical bill. So his sister set up a crowdfunding page for him and raised thousands and thousands of dollars from really generous people and caring people within the magic community. And for me, that just exemplifies what magic is all about. Beyond the competition, beyond the cards, it's about the people. You go to your LGS and you're there and you're there. Firstly, yeah, you play the game, but it's because of the people. If you didn't like the people, you would change your LGS. So that story I just love. That being said, the Wedge has a great deal of stuff here. The worst cards ever in Magic. The best cards ever. Top 10 blue cards in Commander. The color philosophies for for is it for Golgari, and that's so appropriate now, even though this was done in 2016. With girls of Ravnica, named off the two Manchester United legends this playing is, soccer was a no-brainer. But experiencing the Rugby World Cup. <laughs> Hello, 
Hello, everyone, and welcome back to our Color Pie Philosophy series. In these videos, we explore the psychology, strengths, and weaknesses of the two color cycle in magic, using magic's original color pie theory. Now, in case you've missed previous episodes, here are a few links for you. We've done a video covering all the colors individually and a video talking about is it in all of its awesome glory. I suggest starting with the original color pie video if you haven't seen it already. Hope you enjoy the video, and if you do, remember to hit that like button right down there. It uh, helps out a lot. The Golgari Swarm, the organized representation of black and green combined, is a much beloved and hated guild seemingly polarizing to most players. For us to truly understand what it means to be Golgari, we have to dig deep. So there we have it folks, resources for beginners. I hope it's been helpful to you. I have the links down below. Please remember to like, subscribe, and comment. It helps a great deal. I will see you again soon. I want to do another one on apps for, for beginners. That will, I also hope, help you. And that's it, I'm out. May the cards fall well for you.